All right, guys. So you just watched me do potatoes. Um, we are going... Hang on a second. Sorry about that. So we're going to be doing a whole bunch of... Um, it's my take on a farmer's wrap from Tim Hortons. This is much healthier and more economical than um, getting them at the store. Okay? So what a farmer's wrap essentially is, is just eggs, sausage, hash brown, <clears throat> excuse me, and cheese, and a sauce. Which I'll show you the sauce and everything. I'll make, I'll make one and then Cody and Savannah can have one for lunch or something. So you guys can just see them. Um, trying to streamline my mornings a little bit better. Um, it's just been chaotic. So I decided I'd do some freezer meals. So I'm going to crack 24 eggs here. And then I'm going to add about a cup to two cups of milk to thin this out. And then I'm going to actually bake it in the oven just to make my life easier. And then we're going to head over to the table because I do need to sit. I've been standing way too long and I'm really starting to hurt. So I'm going to, um, and then we're going to make some homemade sausage. Okay. Breakfast sausage. And I'm going to show you my recipe for that. And then we'll get them fried up and then we'll start wrapping and uh, we'll start wrapping these up and I'll show you how we're going to do that. All right, you guys. So here is our pork. Uh, this is three pounds of pork. So the reason we're doing it this way is because one box with six pieces of sausage in it was eight, eight. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Eight dollars in the grocery store. And this is actually how I do it. Bulk for my family. Um, I'm going to show you my recipe and uh, we're going to get making these amazing sausage patties. Now, I am going to make extra because these wraps will not last long in our house. They just won't. So, we're going to start with some salt, obviously. You need salt. And it's two teaspoons of salt. Now, if you guys don't want to add salt, don't add salt. Whatever, whatever your diet is, um, if you use a salt replacement, that's okay too. And we're going to do the same for pepper as well, because I am going to add a little bit of crushed red chili flake to this as well. So if you want to omit that, that's cool too. We are, I'm going to reach around you here. We're going to add a little bit of sage, not a whole lot. Because it does, when you cook the sausage, it does really, really come out. Now, I will fry one of these up and taste it. Taste for salt. And I'm doing a teaspoon, oops, sorry guys, teaspoon and a half. And I did it again. Teaspoon and a half of sage to three pounds, okay? Oh, and then I hit ya. We gotta work on my table today, guys. Not a good day for me. But I want to get this stuff done. Oh, I keep hitting the spoons and it's making that annoying noise. Two teaspoons of smoked paprika or just normal paprika. Whatever you may have. Okay. And then I'm going to reach in front of you guys. Now this is where the crushed red chili flake comes in. This is up to you. Okay. So I'm just going to add a few because I did add quite a bit of pepper, but I do want a little bite to the sausage. You can also add, um, you can also add uh, fennel to this. I've added fennel as well. And then we're going to add a quarter cup of baking, of baking, <laughs> uh, pancake syrup, just the cheap stuff. If you want to use maple syrup, you go right ahead. I'm very frugal and when I'm doing stuff like this a lot a lot of times I'm using it as a browning agent um, you can also and I have done this as well add some um, gravy master to it it's like a browning sauce it's really good in this too but I'm out and I can't find it we're gonna add half a teaspoon of hickory smoke 
just a touch just a touch reach around you guys again and we're gonna add some maple extract if you can't get this two tea sorry three teaspoons of this good healthy teaspoons and I forgot my tea towel and then I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna mix it with my hands my hands are clean but I want to make sure every spice is hit this meat so these wraps, I created this wrap because Michael loves, Michael and Cody especially love, love, love going to Tim Hortons, which is a Canadian coffee shop here, and getting these wraps. And I said, you guys are crazy. Like they cost so much money. They're $7 for one wrap and there's like nothing in it. So I decided I'd create something fairly similar. Um, they put hash browns on theirs. If, if I wanted to, I could have spent the day frying up hash browns and all the things and making the fresh hash browns, which I will show you guys in a future video as well, because we're going to poke away at a lot of freezer meals for the winter. Um, that's when I find I have the hardest time standing is in the winter and, um, with what's kind of going on, I just... I want home cooked food in the freezer and I'm sure everybody understands frugality because food is getting to be so insanely expensive. So if I can show you guys how to save money on your grocery bill, I feel like I've done you guys a real good honor in doing that. I still see some maple syrup kicking around in here. right at the bottom there so we're just going to keep moving it around here um you don't need a great big patty or anything like that and i have cut a lot of meat like um i've been cutting my family back on meat um because we couldn't get our whole cow this year because it was three thousand dollars and that to me, I mean, I know it's grass-fed beef and I know it's amazing, but it's gone up. Uh, when we got our last cow, it was $1,500 and it's now three, 3, 000, it's over 3000 So, because of feed prices and everything else, every, it, they've, it's just got crazy expensive. So, I'm even taking what I can get at the grocery store and I'm cutting literally a pound of hamburger in half. And that's all, that's all I use. And I just fill it with peppers and onions and other things like that. Okay, guys, I'm going to cook up one of these patties. Check my salt. I need to be careful with the salt because of Michael. So I'm going to cook up one of these patties and I'll show it to you when I'm done. Because I got my cast iron over there that I cooked the... Um, potatoes in so I'm just gonna use that and then I will bring you guys right back and I'll show you the patty all right guys so my family kind of hoarded me with the sausage patty so I didn't get to film a shot of that so I'm just taking a good little gob here yeah you can see that and I'm just placing it on a cookie sheet with tin foil I am doing this you can see them off to the side here um, I got to do this as easy as I can. Got the eggs already cooked. And then we are going to assemble these. And I, I know for a fact, I have two children that are already waiting for me to make these so they can have one. And I will end up doing another cookie sheet full of these sausage patties as well. But I'm gonna make as many wraps as I can because they will only last maybe, maybe a week in this house. Because this will be something everybody takes for breakfasts um, on the bus or whatever the case may be. Um, Michael now works off property, so he will um, 
probably be taking these as well to work. So that's great. So that's the whole point of all this freezer cooking and all these things. It is a Sunday. He is working today. And I thought today is a good day to do some sit down kind of work. I'm going to watch my church um, here when I'm done with you guys and done wrapping and but and then I'm going to figure out how much these cost us as well compared to if I was to go to Tim Hortons every day and get one of these wraps five days a week. We all got, I mean, I know we do. We got to cut some, some costs in places too. So, I mean, so now you guys can see this one. I'm going to move my bowl right here. So now you're just going to want to put a little finger notch in each one. This will stop them from popping up. And I'm going to get this rack in the oven. I'm going to flatten out any ones I think I can get a little bit more out of. And then, I really should have weighed them, guys. But you know what? Today's not the weighing day. And I'm going to get these ones in the oven. I'm going to get another cookie sheet, a smaller one, because I don't have that much meat left. Uh, lined with tin foil. And then um, we will get going on these amazing wraps. Alrighty, guys. So we're ready. Now I will say, guys, if you guys can stand to cook these sausage patties in a cast iron skillet, please do that. I just put mine in the oven because it's just easier for me right now. But here are the wraps we're going to use. Yes, I could have made them, but seriously, um, we got these 50% off. And they were $1.25 each package. So watch your reduced to sale rack. And uh, these are queso ones. Everyone's really super excited to try these. Um, yeah, for $1.25, I can't make them for $1.25. So, and we're just going to use some simple black diamond cheese. Yes, I'm Canadian. So that's what we have. If you want to use block cheese, you go for it. Um, our block cheese is $6 a block. We can't buy it in the big bags other than at Costco. And uh, I'm not driving four hours to buy cheese. I think uh, that would just be a little insane. So, here are the, the wraps here. Oh, I'm going to show you the sauce. So, this is what everyone likes with their farmer's wraps. That's butter. Um, just no name. It's two forty nine. I haven't mastered this recipe yet, so I haven't. Uh, I haven't worried about it. And then I'll yell for some kids, and and then they can have one. These got these are just great guys for if you want to do breakfast for dinner and just throw a bunch in the oven and reheat them and call supper done. Even if it's not just a breakfast idea, right? It's just something that's hearty and homemade and li literally homemade. So, you know, it can be beneficial. So, here are my eggs. So, I'm just going to lay a piece of egg down with some potatoes and onions. And you can season them any way you want. Once again, you can use a hash brown if you want. And then I'm going to get a piece of sausage, like so. And these are hearty, hearty, hearty. You can even, we can even take the sausage, and cut that in half. So you get a little bit of sausage in each little bite. Put the other piece of cheese on. Grab my sauce. And put a good bit of sauce on there, because that's how they like it. I'm actually going to move this down just a squitch. And then you just start rolling. And this is my version of a Tim Horton farmer's wrap. And I even roll them all the way because, well, when you want to reheat them, right? I do have a platter off to the side here. Nice. Like, theirs is not that full. I will tell you that for a fact. For a fact. 
So we'll do one more together. I have 20, well, I would have had 28 eggs, but my Malamute, you know, he had a little conversation with me and Malachi decided he really wanted a piece of egg this morning. So, just going to put one piece of cheese down there. Good scoop of potatoes. Potatoes came from our garden. A little bit of onion, a little bit of thyme. I forgot to put the egg first. My bad. Whatever. You think they're gonna complain? No siree, Bob, they are not. Little piece of that. Cheese. And I will wash this container as well. A little bit of sauce. And then I will roll these up in plastic wrap. I'm just going to sit here, watch church, and roll these amazing farmer's wraps. All right. I will show you guys how many I get. And uh, maybe I'll get the kid, two of the kids on film tasting these farmer's wraps. All right, guys. As I'm rolling, Savannah's eating. Cody hasn't answered me yet. And it's not a great surprise that Savannah's eating, by the way. Ooh, moving you guys around. It's really good. This is the first time she, I've ever made them for her. Mm. Compare now, Savannah eats the farmer's wraps from Tim Hortons all the time. Which um, ten times better? They're bigger, aren't they? Yeah. Probably more filling. Mm-hmm. You like it? Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to keep rolling. I still got quite a bit to go, and then I will bring you guys back as my daughter eats. And uh, I'll show you how many I got. All righty, everyone. Here we go. All wrapped up, ready to go. Uh, I got 12, 14, 16 farmer's wraps. I got to think of a different name for them or I'm going to get in trouble. But... Um, and then I got, I ran out of potatoes, and that's fine. Uh, I got two, six there. I got 11 just cheese, sausage, and egg, which is the square ones. Um, I have two tortillas left, and I figured it out, and it cost us $1.82 a piece. So for $1.82, um, our kids have got... Super healthy food to run to the bus stop or lunches or whatever it may be. And uh, I'm sure Michael will be sinking his teeth into one of these when he gets home from work at 3.30. But there we go, guys. An easy freezer meal for you guys like I did. Everything pretty much in the oven. A lot of hands off. But, you know, two dozen eggs. A little bit of pork meat made into our own sausage made the way that your family would like it and and it's there's no preservatives in it and uh, I the only thing that was store-bought was the wraps that's it and the cheese that's it so I think that's a pretty awesome way to spend my morning if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I have a lot more coming and uh, there's a lot more canning coming up. We have a big announcement to make and yeah, we got a lot going on. So like I said, if you guys like it, hit that like button. Don't forget, I will always write the recipe down in the description box for you guys so you don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to send my kids out to the big freezer and uh because I don't want to walk that far today so you guys have an awesome Sunday and this will go up on Monday and we'll see you guys super soon bye for now